had all the information that they sought, but they just chose not to. <laughs> oh, Jesus, God. You know, she's not funny anymore, is she? Huh? I used to have violence fantasies about uh, Scott McClellan because of the impenetrable wall of idiocy and supposed ignorance, some of which was probably not supposed, that behind which he used to hide at every press conference. Uh, all those feelings are being uh, shifted now to Dana Perino, violence fantasies. And I don't, like, I don't like it when I get violence fantasies because, you know, I've, I've tried my whole life to overcome um, uh, the idea that violence does anything except cause more violence. But son of a bitch is hard. You know what I'm saying? It's extremely difficult when representatives, what few we have left, um, ask questions in a White House press briefing. And you get this kind of garbage flopping out of the mouth of anybody. Man, woman, old, young, Jew, Gentile, gay, straight. You know, frankly, I don't care. Who, who the White House spokesperson is. And I don't care if they're, if, if they're in the peak of health or dying of colon cancer. None of that matters. What matters, only one thing matters. If that person is standing there, yes, he or she has a job to defend this filthy, disgusting criminal administration. But, but to issue the little snot-ass remarks like, like Scott McClellan did and now too much cappuccino perino, with, with this arrogance that is that is just beyond belief, and this woman thinks like th- the men before her that she is immune from any consequences of of what she's doing up there. Well, she is temporarily, but I'm hoping. I, I if I if if I if if I were a religious person or even had a belief in any kind of of the supreme being or even had an inkling that prayer would work. I would be praying that all of these people eventually uh, will have to uh, face a a, a truth and reconciliation commission, is all I can think of, the South African model, where they would be forced to confess. And the deal would be, you know, confess your sins and crimes, you filthy pigs, and, and we'll let you off the hook. But you have to step out in public and confess what you did to this country. Now, my preference would be to see these sons of bitches go to prison, uh, go to in front of an international uh, criminal tribunal uh, set up in The Hague. That would be my preference. But I think we're, we're pretty much in agreement that's not going to happen. But if the American people ever uh, get mobilized to the point where we've said, you know, or where we say, you know, this is the, we, we, we've had enough. We've had enough of this. Democrat or Republican, left or right, liberal, conservative, we've had enough. We've had enough of the lies and the BS. We're going to start by hauling every one of these pigs that have ruined this country in the past seven years. We're going to haul all these pigs out in front of the American people. And they're going to be forced to testify. If you testify and tell the truth, tell the truth. Um, nothing will happen to you except you can take your shame and humiliation and go about your business. Go back to work for Wall Street or Carlisle Group or any other uh, rapacious uh, uh, um, corporation you want to go to work for. And hopefully uh, we'll have uh, institutions in place to check that. But if you don't tell the truth, then we're going to use enhanced interrogation techniques on you. We're going to let you go for a little swim. We're going to make you think you are drowning. And some of you, just for the sheer hell of it, we may allow you to drown. Now it's your call, Bush crime family members. Let's start with the last mouthpiece. Miss Perino!